Hey guys, I'm Bala from Loki Nation. Welcome back to another project review. Today I'm here at Q1 Sukhumvit, an ultra luxury condominium developed by Quality Houses. This project is unlike any other condominium you'll find in the market. It is a home with a direct skywalk to Nana BTS station. How exciting is that? But before we get into what the project has to offer, let's discuss its surroundings. Q1 Sukhumvit is located right on the main road of Sukhumvit. If some of you don't already know, the Sukhumvit area is the center of business and a lifestyle haven of Bangkok, which makes living here a dream of many. Only the best of the best shopping malls are located along the Sukhumvit line, which include Terminal 21, Central Embassy, and Central Chitlom. Only a station away. Two stations away is the M District, then you'll have Central World and Siam Paragon in proximity to the project, all accessible along the Sukhumvit BTS line. Although amenities within shopping malls are accommodating, we can't overlook healthcare. That said, I'd like to highlight the fact that one of the world's top-ranked hospitals, Bamungrat International Hospital, is located in Nana itself. While another one of the capital's top hospitals, Samitiwe Sukhumvit Hospital, is located only 4 kilometers away from the project. Educational institutes are a very important factor when deciding to move to a new home. Bangkok's finest institutes include Nis International School, Matadei School, Sinakalin Milod University are all located less than two kilometers away from the project. For those of you who love being surrounded by greenery, parks like Lumpini Park, Benjakiti Park, and Benja City Park are all located within reach. Now that the surroundings are covered, let's head on to transportation time. As I've stated previously, Q1 Sukhumvit is a unique project as it is connected to Nana BTS station with its own skywalk. Head down from the platform and the project welcomes you right there and then. There are some exciting future developments to look forward to. First are two large-scale office towers, Ones Tower and JLK Tower. Ones Tower is to be also directly connected to Nana BTS station and developed by Taiyobayashi Corporation while JLK Holdings by Taiwan is developing a 32-story office tower near Nana BTS Station. Second is the Chuit Garden, which is said to become a mixed-use project composed of 3,000 square meters of retail space, 20,000 square meters of office space, and 400 hotel rooms. Third is the expansion of Bamunglat International Hospital that I spoke of earlier, with a land acquisition price at 930 million baht and a land size at 850 square wa. What is to become of this world-renowned hospital will be sure to keep you posted. Under the concept The Emblem of Luxurious Life, Q1 Sukhumvit has received an award from the Asia-Pacific Property Awards of 2020 to 2021 in the category of Architecture Multiple Residence for its sophisticated design and attention to detail. At Q1 Sukhumvit, there is a range of unit types and sizes to choose from, starting from two-bedroom units up to penthouse units. There are 273 units in total and a maximum of 11 units per floor. As residents enter the lobby, they'll find themselves welcome to a grand and luxuriously designed space. Marble floorings, light-themed elements, and gold-colored finishings will certainly provide an entrance experience like no other. There's also a concierge to assist you when reserving for a private experience in their facilities. Highlighting on privacy, the lifts from the lobby will allow you to access the floor of your own unit and the facilities. As for parking spaces, they are dispersed between floors B1 and 8, with legally registered fixed parking spaces that account for 236%, meaning that they provide 2 to 6 fixed spaces depending on the unit size. Facilities begin on the 9th floor, which is called the Residence Lounge, where residents can sit and relax and enjoy the view of the swimming pool. The outdoor zone of the 9th floor is the 27-meter saltwater swimming pool that is equipped with what they call the spa jet, which will put you at ease. This place is great for families as there is a kids' pool provided as well. In all wet zones of the facilities, towels will be provided for your convenience. Heading back inside, there is a multi-purpose room where residents can utilize it for meetings with a TV to assist when doing presentations. At Q1 Sukhumvit, they offer a state-of-the-art fitness center and yoga room, fully equipped with Cybex fitness equipment. All you need to complete a workout session is here in a single room. What reminds me of a five-star hotel spa is their indoor jacuzzi and steam and sauna units. They are separated for both male and female rooms. Here, you can truly put your stress behind as you indulge in a spa-like sensation, but in your own home. That said, relaxation doesn't end here. 
Residents are also given a private spa room on the 40th floor where you can request your favorite masseuse from any spa to come and massage you in the comfort of your own home. This project really emphasizes relaxation. They provide a private sky onsen, which they claim it'll give you that true Japanese feel to it with warm toned wooden floorings all throughout, as well as the amenities given. Also on the 40th floor, residents will find the sky garden and panoramic terrace for activities such as private parties and more. Finally, there is a 360 degree sky lounge with a panoramic view of the city. Here, residents can organize events on special occasions with a view that is absolutely phenomenal. I'm here at the three bedroom unit at 203 square meters. Let's take a look inside. The first thing is this floor to ceiling door, which is solid core veneer finished, and it comes with Baldwin brass handle. You'll also have a mailbox right here, and at the back of it, is a little cabinet right here where you have your mailbox and you have some handles for your keys. On this side is the multi-purpose room and it has a tinted glass partition as is. Then you'll have this home automation system which connects to the concierge at the lobby and you'll also have these features right here where you can control their lighting and your air conditioning. What I particularly like about this unit is that it is perfectly divided into three sections and I'll show you what I mean. First is this living area right here and it can fit an L-shaped sofa perfectly if that's what you prefer and it is at a perfect distance from the television. You can also have an armchair on this end as well. Heading into the dining area, this dining area can fit up to a six-person dining table, perfect for having guests around. Right by it is the balcony and all windows at Q1 Sukhumvit uses triple layered insulation glass to keep out the heat and outdoor noise. Let's go take a look at the balcony. This balcony is quite spacious. You can really utilize it however you'd like. You can have a mini dining table or an outdoor garden and have a view of the BTS station. Now this space is your kitchen where you'll have an island right in the center and the countertops are made of quartz which is very easy to clean. You'll have a sink here by Blanco and further storage below such as a trash bin, a dishwasher by Siemens. Also by Siemens are these hobs and hoods and a combined microwave and oven. This four door built in refrigerator. As you guys can see it can store a lot. Now all the storage spaces, as you guys can see, is all white and it's by the German brand Pogenpol. The ceiling height in all the living areas are at 3 meters high and the floorings are composite stone imported from Italy. Now let's head on into the master bedroom. Entering the room, you'll have this spacious master bedroom with so much that you can do with it. This is just simply an idea of what you could do with the room and how you can decorate it. So in here, you'll have floors, which are engineering teak wood. It's a dark shade, which I find it very homey in my opinion. And you'll also have these floor to ceiling windows that you can see the Benjikati Park from here as well. Obviously, you can fit a king-size bed in here and two side tables, an armchair, some shelves, and maybe a working desk if that's what you prefer. And you'll also be provided some wallpaper, which is similar to what you see, but not exactly this. And you'll have this little hallway right here, and on my left is the walk-in closet, which is divided symmetrically. Everything in here is built in and ready for use. You can use it for your hung clothes, your folded clothes, and your accessories. On this end is a space to place a vanity. Now in here is the master bathroom. You'll have a bathtub by Cash and fixtures by Grohey, and it's right by the window where you can see the view of the BTS. The floors in all master bathrooms are composite stone imported from Italy, and the walls are marble imported from Turkey. Now you'll have a sink by Toto as well as a huge mirror with medicine cabinets and more storage space below. As for the toilet seat, it is a total washlet in the Neorest XHI generation. Now into this wet zone, you'll have a regular shower head by Grohey, as well as a rain shower and a fixed soap shelf. Right beside the master bedroom is the second bedroom, which is slightly smaller than the master bedroom, but you can fit a king size bed as you wish or whatever type of bed you'd like to fit in here. You can also have a desk, a seat, some shelves, and you'll also have a built-in wardrobe, which is just like this, 
and you'll also have a ensuite bathroom. On this third section of the room, you'll have the third bedroom, and although this is the smallest bedroom out of the three, you can fit a king size bed in here. You'll also have a wardrobe and an ensuite bathroom, just like the second bedroom. Now let's head on to the maid's quarter at the back. This maid's quarter right here, you'll have a Thai kitchen with appliances by Teika. You'll also have a long countertop with a backsplash, which makes heavy cooking very easy. You'll also have a second balcony, the maid's bedroom, the maid's bathroom, and more storage space in here. There's also a washing machine on this end and a separate entrance to the unit. Now it's time for you guys to take a look for yourselves. Another unit that I'd like to show you guys is the two bedroom unit at 92 square meters. This unit could be another option for you guys if you're living as a couple or a family of three to four. So the first thing you see as you enter the unit is the kitchen with the appliances just like the previous unit that you saw. Then you have your living area and dining area. This is set up for three but you can actually fit up to a four person dining table if you're living as a family of four. And this living area right here, I believe you can fit an L-shaped sofa if that's what you prefer. And it's at a good distance from the television. Right by it is the balcony, which brings in so much light into the living room, it feels very ample. Now there's this hallway that leads into the two bedrooms. First, you'll have a storage space right here, which has shelves perfectly organized and you'll have space to place a washing machine. Right across it is the second bedroom. What I really like is that there is a built-in wardrobe on one side of the hallway that doesn't take space from the bedroom itself. So in here, you can fit a queen-size bed perfectly along with two side tables, and you'll have a full view of the city. Then you'll have a double access bathroom, which is great for when guests come in so they don't have to walk all the way into your private bedroom to access the bathroom. Let's head on into the master bedroom. This master bedroom is spacious, but not as spacious as the previous unit that I showed you. It can fit a king size bed and two side tables, as well as a view. One feature that I'd like to show you is that they have a sexy bath, which I believe many of you do love for its ample feel. And in here is a walk-in closet with sliding doors as is. Now you guys can take a look for yourselves. Asia Pacific Property Award winner Q1 Sukhumvit starts at 30 million baht and is now ready to move in. Residents will not only be living on the main road of Sukhumvit but with direct access to Nana BTS station with wondrous amenities surrounding the project like high-end shopping malls and top-notch healthcare. Future developments like high-rise office towers by international developers, expansions of parks and healthcare centers would definitely transform this neighborhood. Residents will have an all-in-one relaxation experience with their state-of-the-art facilities including a jacuzzi, steam and sauna units, private spa room, and private sky onsen. Also important to note is that they provide legally registered fixed parking spaces. And as for the units, let me just conclude that they are large-scale units, perfect for families, starting at two bedrooms onwards. And that completes our review of Q1 Sumovit. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in this project, contact the developer at 1388. And don't forget to like and subscribe to all our social media platforms at Locanation and Locanation.com for more Thailand property and lifestyle updates. And I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Bye!